Lord Jagatnath truly embodies an irresistible force as he is none other than a Krishna, the all-attractive, the supreme lord of the universe, Sri Krishna. And the annual procession of the deity of Krishna in the form of Jagatna carried on the Rath chariot annexed one of the world's oldest and largest festivals dating back thousands of years in India. Rath Yatra the divine festival of Sri Krishna, Lord Jagatna. Ratyatra, the significance of Ratyatra goes back to thousands of years. The origin is described in the Skanda Puran and it appears as early as Narad Puran, Brahma Puran, Padma Puran, Kapil Samhita and also other links to the Dharma Shastras. It's also connected to the Mahabharat. So, the three heavily built wooden chariots of Lord Jagatnaji, Lord Balvadra, and Devi Subhadra are traditionally pulled by thousands of devotees over a distance of three kilometers. After resting for eight days, Lord Jagatnath returns to his main abode known as Bahutiyatra. Lord Jagatnath's Rath, the chariot, is called Nandigosh, also known as Garudvaja or Kapildvaja is about 44 feet tall and has 16 wheels. Balbhadra's chariot is called Talatwaja or Langaltwaja and stands 43 feet in height with 14 wheels, whilst Subhadraji's chariot has 12 wheels and is 42 feet high. The Ratyatra takes place during the month of Ashad, the lunar calendar, and as per the Gregorian calendar around June and July. The Chagatna Triad, normally housed inside the sanctum of the temple, is brought out to the main street of Puri and travels three kilometers to Sri Gundicha temple in the chariots, allowing the devotees, the public, to have their darshan. This festival is the most famous in Orissa and the world. The chariots are huge wooden structures with big great wheels which are built anew every single year. The heavy ruts are pulled by devotees for the entire distance. And this Ratyata, the king of Puri, the Gajpati king of Puri, currently 
Divya Singh Deva performs Chera Bahandra, a ritual of sweeping the chariots before they are pulled by the scores of devotees of Lord Jagatnath. The ritual has a clear social message that all are equal before the Lord. The ritual is performed during the Rath Yatra for centuries and there should be no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed and any other barriers before the Almighty. Chara Bahana is the second phase of the festival which is as colorful and elaborate as the ritual of the Rath Yatra. The current king is informed about the deities who take their places on the chariots and the king is informed by a messenger specially deputed by the temple officials. The king comes in a spotless white attire carried in a silver-plated palanquin, climbs on the chariots and performs the sweeping. Although the festival is celebrated in the auspicious month of Ashan, the Rath, the chariot, is goes through other areas of the procession. The ceremony before Rath Yatra begins, the Stan Yatra festival, the Nasara festival, the Nibrit festival, the Netrosava festival, and finally the Rath Yatra. During all this, the deities are brought out and they're made to swing forward and backward in a manner called Bahandi, as the deities are extremely heavy. They need strong men to move them. After all these rituals are completed, Rath Yatra begins and the chariot going first is Balvadra as he is elder followed by Subhadraji's chariot and then the chariot of Lord Jagadnathji. Finally, the chariots rest at Gundicha temple and Lord Jagatnaji is offered some sweets. Thereafter, they proceed for another day towards Gundicha temple. Lord Jagatnaji stays at the temple for seven days. Deities receive the routine rituals in the main temple. On the tenth day, fortnight of Ashar, the deities are brought back on their respective chariots to the main temple, and this is known as Bhagavad And the Rath Yatra begins at Sindhwar. There are sentiments attached to this Yatra, and some of the sentiments have several stories underlying them. And there's a few examples like the 
comes the maternal uncle of Lord Krishna invited Krishna and Balram to Mathura with the malicious intention of killing them and consents a crew with a chariot to go home and Lord Krishna and Balram climbed onto the chariot with a crew to take leave of the gopis to proceed to Mathura and the day of departure is celebrated by the devotees as also Rath Yatra. Devotees in Dwarika celebrates the day when Lord Shri Krishna accompanied by Balram took Subhadra, his sister, for a ride on a chariot to show the city's beauty. Also, once in Dwarika, Lord Krishna's eight queens requested Mother Roini to narrate the divine episodes of Lord Krishna with the gopis whilst he was in Raj. After a lot of relentless to him, there is also the Rath from the Mahabharata. Shri Krishna and Arjun, the life path. There's also the Sansara from the Ramayana. And the most famous one, the Chajagaji Rathyatra Festival. Happy Rathyatra.